Greetings, folks. Euler here, and welcome to the latest entry in the Frustration 101 series. Now, thankfully, I don't add to this series very often. Uh, these are matches that can be wins or they can be losses, uh, but they invariably require the effort of one and sometimes two individuals on a team to keep their team in the game. Uh, this particular match features myself in the Tier 10 German heavy cruiser, the Hindenburg. I'm in division with Jimmy Jazz, who is sailing the Khabarovsk. Uh, we are in a standard battle on Shatter. There are no carriers in play and just a couple of destroyers per team. Uh, my build hasn't changed much uh, over, well, I think ever since I put Günther Lütjens on my Hindenburg uh, back in January, uh, I had run the unique upgrade for the Hindenburg and the range upgrade in slot six for well more than a year. And then when the Hindenburg got her reload buff in late 2019 and then that uh, combined with uh, Günther Lütjens, I switched back to a reload build and I've been quite happy with that uh, ever since. Now, our team is uh, split up quite evenly across the two flanks. Uh, we do give up first blood just there, uh, losing an Amagi on the east flank. That is, or I'm sorry, in the west flank. Uh, the west flank is the opponent's strong side. Uh, we know there are five opponents on this side, including the Holland. We haven't detected the Holland, but we've definitely seen his torps a few times. Uh, so we know that he's over here. And uh, we're trying to get this Ager down so we can even up the ship counts. And then yeah, he just went down. And now I'm going to start working the Yamato, which has kind of isolated himself. And he's going to want to be firing more in toward the center of the map. And I can be a little more on his flank and be firing on him, hopefully, uh, without uh, drawing his attention, or at least immediately. We do detect the Holland here. So I'm, I'm going to immediately, excuse me, switch my attention to the Holland and get some salvos out on him, get a fire. And which he so far he hasn't put out. We lose detection on him. I switch back to the Yamato here. I there I set another fire on him. My next salvo goes out on the Yamato, but the Holland got redetected. I'm not sure whether he fired his guns or the fires got him relit or something, but uh, we lose track on him again. So I'm going to go back to the Yamato. So um, yeah, it looks like things are not going very well on our west flank because we just lost our Baltimore. So we're down a ship. And again, that is the opponent's strong flank. So that side is going to start getting focused out here pretty quickly. Uh, in fact, I think it's at this point that I'm thinking I probably st should start turning around as I get another fire on the Yamato. The Yamato is starting to pull away here. I think he realizes that he's the only thing that the uh, our team has to shoot at right now because the uh, Alaska and the Thunder pulled away completely back to their spawn. Fortunately, I didn't take too much damage there. There we just lost our Richelieu. That was the third of a, a trio, a, a division trio of tier eight ships. And I am going to accelerate the replay here for a moment because it takes me a while to get back to a position where I can start putting fire on opponents. Because again, with the Yamato pushing back and the Alaska and Thunder pushing back and us not having any visibility on the Holland, I needed to get more in the middle. And this also allows me to start shoring up support uh, at our cap as it's clear now that the opponents are making a pretty hard press on the west side. Do have a, a firing solution here on the Thunder, but he's also, well, I'm assuming he's targeting me or at least, at least he probably was. Now I've lost visibility on him. The other ship that right now I'm concerned about is, uh, well, I can see the Yamato. He probably can hit me from there, uh, but it's actually th this guy, the Holland. Uh, that we've redetected here. So I'm going to put fire on him. Man, it would be nice to be able to get that Yamato down. He is clearly low health. We've just lost two more ships. So we have a four ship deficit. Uh, this is not going well at all. Some torpedoes out from the Holland against our Alaska. Uh, I have a, you know, ooh, well, I get four more shells. I incapacitated something. I can't hit the Yamato, which I would love to be able to do. Uh, even if I put up my spotter. So I'm going to switch over to the um, Thunderer for one salvo. And then the Holland shows back up. I think our, I don't know if he, yeah, he started firing his guns. And I was hoping that my shells would clear the island as he went behind the island. But he actually <laughs> uh, ran into the island and I did tag him with one shell. And that finishes off the Holland uh, for my first kill. 
uh, but we still have a three ship deficit. Switching back to the Thunder, and I obviously want to try to keep myself or keep the island between myself and the Thunder. And here's the Alaska, and I definitely don't want to be giving him broadside. So I'm kind of panning between these two to make sure that I'm not going to get detected by them or uh, be, have them or let them have a firing solution, excuse me, on me as I'm making this turn. Unfortunately, however, I do get detected by the Des Moines uh, that is now moving through the center of the map. And this is a really dangerous turn because he's got my broadside, the Charles Martel has my side, as well as the, uh, the Massachusetts. Fortunately, the Des Moines was firing HE, so I uh, do take a fire, but at least it wasn't a fat <laughs> body of fat AP shells uh, from the uh, from the Des Moines, and I'm gonna have to pull back here. We have lost another ship. We again, it, we're maintaining a three ship deficit, although we sank one other ship. Oh yeah, that was the Thunder uh, went down, and our Alaska went down over there on the um, sort of the uh, central east side of the map. Yeah, here I'm going to have to keep pulling back here because uh, I've got three opponents that can have clear ability to fire me. In fact, there's a fourth that's targeting me. I don't know whether that was the Alaska or maybe, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, the, it's clear that the Des Moines wants to position in a way that he can fire from concealment. So I need to keep pulling away. And I'm also trying to angle quite strongly to him because he was firing AP and I didn't want to take any unnecessary um, Citadel hits uh, due to his preferential pen angles. I'm going to put focus back on the Massachusetts as I get another fire. Again, the Des Moines is firing on me, tags me with, for, with one shell. Uh, but I'm just, I think I'm now in a position that he can't hit me very reliably, if at all. Uh, but I am still being targeted. And that salvo was from the Alaska that is over on the east side uh, and the Alaska has awesome AP shells. Uh, I definitely don't want to be giving him uh, a lot of side and well there's Iron Strike so there's the one of the buffs of the or one of the talents I should say of Gunter Dutjens after getting 140 main battery hits and the Massachusetts goes down which is good so now we brought it to a two ship deficit um, and, but we have a Friedrich der Große, well, now it's a three ship deficit as we just lost our Montana, but there's a Friedrich in our cap. So I'm trying to race back out to a position where I can maintain some distance from the Alaska and some of the other opponents, but then also be able to fire on the Freddy. Unfortunately, I'm going to run into our, our Nevsky here. So that was kind of my fault, not monitoring uh, as closely as I should have. I've also got the Thunder right here next to me. I was hoping that he would be a little closer to play uh, so that he could help draw some of the fire uh, for our team. Our Ron, which is in the cap, um, he is being shot at by the Des Moines and some other ships. He's going to go down here pretty quickly. In fact, there he goes. Uh, so, yeah, we've just lost another ship. So now we're working with a four-ship deficit. It's Jimmy Jazz, myself, Arnievsky, and our Thunder against, um, well, eight opponents. So I'm switching to AP here because the Des Moines is giving me flat broadside now. Uh, although he does have some torpedoes going in on him. I'm not sure whether that was from our own or something else. But I get a double Citadel, and that's my second kill. So I'm up to 103,000 in damage, and now I can start... Sorry about the hard panning there. I don't like doing that <laughs> for the replays. Um, but uh, yeah, now I have a firing solution on the Freddy and can help with the resetting. I am going to run into the Thunder here because I keep getting targeted periodically, and it's either the Alaska or the Freddy, and I don't want to be giving them a lot of side. Um, right now, I... The health that I have is all that I'm going to be able to recover, even though I have two uh, repair party charges left. Nice. I get a fire on the Freddy. Uh, but this is definitely a situation where the uh, teams get pincered uh, from both sides. And uh, you're at risk of giving broadside to somebody. Uh, in that case, I took a, a fair amount of chip damage uh, from the Freddy. I do get Confederate there, which helps. Somebody is still targeting me. I think... I think it's the Freddy um, at this point um, because the Alaska technically could hit me, but he's firing on the Thunder. 
I'm going to switch over to the uh, Alaska for the moment. While, but then the uh, Tashkent shows up, and he's quite low health. And right now our team needs ships off the map. We need to be able to take opponents down so that we can make this a little fairer fight. Uh, we did uh, bring it to a three-ship deficit. My first salvo in the Tashkent, I, I knew at the moment that I fired my guns, I had not given him enough lead. Uh, so I've had to expand my lead here, and that salvo looks pretty good. Yep, okay, there's my third kill. Up to just coming up on 130,000 damage. The Freddy has basically stopped in the cap. I'm going to switch to AP here because he's giving me a fair amount of side, and the German battleships have a lot of superstructure, which take a lot of pen damage, and the AP will chunk him pretty hard, although he's already low health, and there's kill number four. So now I'm going to switch back to the Alaska, although we just lost our Nevsky. So it's Jimmy Jazz in the Khabarovsk, uh, myself, and our Thunder. Now we lose visibility on all the opponents for the moment. I've accelerated the replay here as I'm charging in to get some, uh, you know, be able to put fire on the Charles Martel. I'm also trying to make sure that I keep the island between myself and the Alaska because uh, unfortunately the Alaska does get some shells over the island. And in fact, now you see some shells coming in from the Yamato, which we cannot see. That was the Yamato that was very low health at the beginning of the game or much earlier in the game. And that's kind of come back to bite us. He was smart enough to pull away, get a little bit of health back and is now working from concealment. Um, that was a turn that the Charles Martel should not have made, and that gets me cracked and unleashed. Thankfully, um, that also uh, takes me off detection because the North Carolina was too far away at my during my last salvo that when I took down the Charles Martel that they lost visibility. Now I'm dealing with um, a significant threat. Uh, the Alaska's AP is just so good, and I have to stay very angled here. Uh, so if he shoots me in the bow, I will bounce it. But if he gets up into my superstructure, check this salvo out. I'm very strongly angled. That was still over 6,000 in damage. Now he's radaring here. I'm not sure why, but now I pick up the hydro signal, which is, I think, what he really want. He may have fat fingered the uh, radar and really meant to put up the hydro uh, because he knows that I'm making a charge here. And I have to do this. Uh, we now have brought it to a one on, uh, three on two situation. I'm trying to gauge which way he's going to go. He's clearly trying to juke. Uh, my uh, torpedo spread. Uh, he's taken out one of my front turrets for the moment. And here I can definitely tell that I'm simply uh, too close to be able to send torpedoes. He does get the turn in and takes me out with a ram for my sixth kill and just shy of 180,000 in damage. So I'm going to spare you the dignity of seeing our uh, Thunder firing HE on a broadside North, uh, North Carolina, but and eventually going down. Uh, this was, in fact, a delete, uh, delete, a defeat, excuse me. Uh, six kills, Crack and Unleash, Confederate, 1600 base XP. Um, I was actually thinking I probably would have done a little, a little higher, but I, I thought things went okay for me personally but obviously was a frustrating loss so i uh, hope everybody enjoyed the replay in the commentary and hope you can understand why i call these frustration 101 series please do leave your comments below and as always we hope to see you out there on the virtual seas and we wish you happy sailing